Helene Anna Held was a Polish-French stage performer on Broadway. While appearing in London, she was spotted by impresario Florence Ziegfeld, who later brought her to America as his common-law wife. From 1896 through 1910, she was one of Broadway's most celebrated leading ladies and had an offstage reputation for exotic behavior, such as bathing in 40 gallons of milk a day to maintain her complexion. A photo of Eliza Blasina wearing a horsehead headdress, by Charles McCaggy as a part of a burlesque show. Burlesque was popular in London and was introduced to the US in the 1840s. It contained sexually suggestive dialogue and sometimes featured women wearing revealing costumes. A beautiful French postcard from 1925, depicting a woman seated while painting, titled, Art Becomes Life. A champagne inspector, wearing a special mask to protect her against accidental discharges. Circa 1916. On January 15, 1919, a molasses storage tank in the North End neighborhood of Boston broke apart, releasing as much as 2.3 million gallons into the streets at 35 miles per hour, ultimately killing 21 and injuring 150 people. Even after many years residents claimed that the area still smelled of molasses on hot summer days. With a definite brains and beauty, Hedy Lamarr was an Austrian-born American film actress who has been described as one of the greatest movie actresses of all time. She later got bored of acting and became an inventor who pioneered the technology that would one day form the basis for today's Wi-Fi, GPS, and Bluetooth communication systems. She was inducted into the National Inventors Hall of Fame 14 years after her death. She spent her life wishing people would not only notice her beauty but also her brain. Surrealist artist, Salvador Dali poses for the photograph known as Dali Atomicus. A collaboration between himself and American photographer Philippe Halsman, that was published in 1948. Henri Manuel, a Parisian photographer, took this stunning photo of a French cabaret performer, circa 1900. Wounded Canadians taking cover behind a pillbox in the Battle of Passchendaele. Nearly 16,000 Canadians were killed or wounded in that battle. But Passchendaele did nothing to help the Allied effort and became a symbol of the senseless slaughter of the First World War. Mountain of bison skulls piled up in the Midwest waiting to be ground down into fertilizer in the mid-1870s. It captures the extent of the buffalo slaughter carried out by American settlers. It is estimated that as many as 60 million American bison roamed the grasslands and plains of North America during the 19th century. The species was culled down to just 300 animals by 1900. An elegant photo of showgirl Frida Mears, by Alfred Cheney Johnston, circa 1932. Invented in 1939 in Montreal, where temperatures can dip to minus 4 Fahrenheit, the plastic snowstorm mask was one of the most bizarre contraptions of its decade. It was intended to protect your face from snowstorms. Betty Page at the beach circa 1950s. She was the most famous pinup girl in America, but her life was filled with mystery and sadness. After suddenly disappearing from the spotlight in 1957, she resurfaced years later in a series of violent scandals. The Cyclamer was an amphibious bicycle that never caught on, following its introduction in Paris in 1932. Beautiful Legs Contest at Palisades Amusement Park, where the participants wear pillowcases over their heads so that the judges can see only their legs. New Jersey, 1951. Cyclists Julian Vervac and Maurice Geldhoff light up and smoke cigarettes while competing in the 1927 Tour de France. The 21st edition of the Tour de France, taking place from June 19 to July 17. 
It consisted of 24 stages over 3,354 miles. On September 3, 1967, Sweden changed from driving on the left-hand side of the road to driving on the right. As you might imagine, this switch was anything but easy. The decision to move to the other side of the road was not taken lightly. This photo was taken the next morning as vehicles and pedestrians stand in chaos in the capital city of Stockholm.